What's going on, guys? So Jackie Hill Perry is a poet, author, and she said some things about Beyonce and some others, which I found very, very good. But apparently many others did not. So let me let you hear what she said. I'll be right back. I don't know who told us you got to be a witch to be black. You are not more black by engaging in witchcraft that is still propagating a white supremacist lie that black people in Africa didn't know Jesus. I am angry that the powers that be in social media and in culture and in music and in Beyonce's music and in Kalani's music and in whatever the other, and in Santa, like I'm angry that they are really trying to convince us that all spiritualism is the same. And we have digested this impurity and this, we, we want so bad not to be legalistic that we actually become profane. We want so bad to have all these freedoms that we are entertaining demons and you wonder why you are depressed and you wonder why you are anxious and you wonder why you have nightmares and you wonder why you can't sleep and you wonder why you see things in your room at night. It's because you're opening up doors to all kinds of demons, close them. Whatever you got in your home that's witchcraft, throw it away. Burn everything you got, because we are women who are going to love God with all of our heart and all of our mind and all of our soul. We are not going to imitate the detestable practices of the nations. I thought her words were spot on. We need more women of God to preach against Beyonce and all of these other women who are promoting a type of witchcraft, spiritualism, all these things that are not of God. But let me read to you what people said about her in the comment section and just respond and kind of defend Jackie O. Perry. One commenter said, these pastors say Beyonce's name to go viral and it's a shame. Do they not feel evil constantly putting down someone just for clicks and possible revenue for their churches? I highlighted that comment because I see people always leaving comments about how Christian influencers, pastors talk about Beyonce to get clicks for their videos and for their churches. But the reality is Beyonce has made a bunch of songs and I rarely ever hear Christians talk about Beyonce unless she is talking about God talking about the church, talking about church girls, talking about Jesus. They're the ones, her and Jay-Z, they're the ones always talking about God. They're the ones always bringing Christ down and throwing dirt on his name. That is why Christians talk about Beyonce and mention her to rebuke her. If she didn't ever talk about God, Jesus Christ, and the church, I guarantee you not too many people would care about Beyonce, but the fact that she is targeting the church that audience, those listeners, it is our responsibility as Christians to speak against or provide a rebuttal, a rebuke, a retort to what she's saying to, to prevent her from bringing more people into darkness. Another person says, people who just loosely call people witches without knowing nothing about the person deep down and who they pray to at night disgust me. Like who the F told you they were witches? The reality is, do witches even call themselves witches anymore? You judge a tree by its fruit. Look at these pictures of Beyonce and you tell me what she is. These are not pictures of a woman of God. These are not pictures of a woman who has Jesus Christ in her heart. These are not pictures of a person who has confessed Christ as their Lord and Savior. And these are not pictures of a woman who plans on obeying the scriptures, because if she did, she would be in violation of the scriptures, her conscience, she's in sin. These are pictures of a woman who is masquerading herself like an angel of light, but on the inside, she's a wicked woman. The Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. When a person is rapping and singing songs and the lyrics that she sings, you can only judge her based on what she is saying. And what she is saying is coming from her heart or else, she wouldn't be singing them. She would be singing songs to glorify God if God was really in her heart, if she really had a conviction for God. Instead, she's singing these things, these lyrics, although they may be for entertainment, everybody does not process those words as just merely entertaining words. Some people, they take those words to heart, internalize them, repeat them, and those words become a part of their person. And you wonder why you are depressed and you wonder why you are anxious, and you wonder why you have nightmares, and you wonder why you can't sleep, and you wonder why you see things in your room at night. It's because you're opening up doors 
to all kinds of demons. Close them. And when that happens, you dissuade somebody from following Christ because these words are louder in their mind than the words of scripture. This is because music is very influential. Songs are very influential. It's in my brain. Do you know that? It's living rent free. I can't get it out. You did that. Yeah, it's hypnosis. <laughs> You're so awesome and dope. I love your music. I love your artistry. I love your... And we have digested this impurity and this we, we want so bad not to be legalistic that we actually become profane. So it's our responsibility as Christians to speak against those words. This person says, I can't wait to see the faces of some of these prophets when they realize the same ones they spoke about are enjoying the everlasting life they thought they wouldn't experience. I'll say this, God is love, period. Some of the prophets who seem to be the voice of God don't seem to operate in that of love. Just remember, the same book you preach out of is the same book that was once used to justify slavery. This person brought up love, the voice of God, how the Bible was once used to justify slavery, which we know the Bible does not justify slavery or teach slavery, which is a video for another time. All these things except what Jackie O'Perry talked about in her clip. None of these comments actually debunked her statements and her points about Beyonce and these other people who are witches who do things of the devil. These are red herrings. These are logical fallacies to distract you from actually giving thought to what Jackie O'Perry said, because what she said was actually valid. Even if you want to argue that Beyonce, Kalani, all these other women aren't witches, Erica Badu, they aren't witches. They are practicing rebellion. They are in rebellion to God and rebellion is a type of witchcraft. First Samuel 15, 23 says rebellion is as sinful as witchcraft and stubbornness as bad as worshiping idols. These people, these women, these artists, these singers who refuse to submit to God, present themselves as living sacrifices unto God and be transformed by the renewing of their mind. They are in sin, practicing witchcraft, and they are leading others to do the same. But Jackie O'Perry is a voice crying out in the wilderness. To all these people who are listening to Beyonce to come out of darkness, but don't hate the messenger, man. Like she's the one speaking the truth. But if you want to hear more truth, particularly about the Enneagram, how that's sinful and demonic as well, check this video out right here. If you enjoyed this video and you want more content like this, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Like this video. I'll be back next week with another one. This is Pastor Frederick. This is about a book. Peace.